Okay, so this, this is the entrance to, to this apartment. Uh, this is the living room and kitchen area. We've, we've set it out to put the living area on that side with the TV wall there. Then the kitchen will be in that shape of that down those two walls. Um, so it's, it's a decent side of the room. And in, in your mind, you've got an idea of roughly the layout of what's been in so, Yeah. So you've got the TV points. Yeah, yeah. Up. Yeah, put TV points added up and uh, put a data point on that. We are putting a, a brush out there. Above and below, so I think so we can bring in the uh, HDMI cable. So we set uh, an outlet play with the, the brush line. Okay. Uh, so we can, we can pull that HDMI cable. So, okay. Uh, and you've, you've left them there, these, these, these are the original windows, isn't it, aren't they? These are not the original windows, yeah. We're just going around and I'll strip it sills out. Um, fortunately, the windows are, are all in good condition. They just need restrictors putting on them. Which starts uh, people opening and as yeah, yeah. So as they are at the moment, the, the, the four fires get windows, so they'll open quite a long way and quite a step far. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> we'll put restrictors on it. No? No, not for now. So, living room, kitchen. Yeah, through this way. Through this way, that's the small one of the two bedrooms. Um, again, set out for TV, um, <coughs> power points in there, and um, it's all going to be electric eating. So having electric heating as opposed to gas means there are no pipes running around. Yeah, no pipes. I mean, it makes the, the plumbing so much easier. And obviously, we don't really want the gas leak in the in the mock seven flat. Yeah. Just make me feel better having electric heating rather than gas. And then moving this way, this is the the, the light of the, of the bedroom. Um, we we'll set this out to to take a headboard. Uh, a fixed headboard, um, and we'll bring power to into the headboard. We'll put some drops, put some uh, lighting over on the bed, or the bed sides. So when you say a fixed, so headboard yeah, is the first wall. Yeah, the headboard yeah. attached to the wall, that's pulled back, and the power will come through into the headboard, and the lights will be switched from the headboard as well as the wall. And so in theory, these will be above uh, bedside yeah, yeah. level, so it's convenient yeah. to get in your feet. That's right. Cool. Yeah. All right, try right. it. Uh, I'll just place bathroom in this in this flat, which is this way. Um, that's just a rise of cover, so once everything's in there, that bit walks off and I've forgotten about. Um, there's a cylinder cover going in there, which will take the, um, the, the cylinder, the unvented cylinder, to, to supply hot water to the flat. We're going to make provision in those cupboards to put the washing machine underneath um, underneath the cylinder rather than have it in the living room so you're not sat listening to the washing machine. Yeah, and there's a water resistant room. Yeah. Water resistant room as well. Yeah. Um, bath's going to come off, um, off the boiler cupboard with the shower over. Toilet, basin, uh, we'll put provision in for uh, a luminator grill as well. And extractor up there. Extractor, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's that's one of the two bedrooms. That's, that's one of them, yeah. Just quickly whiz around the other ones as well. Yeah, okay. Up here. So this, this is the staircase that's that that will lead up to the this stairwell, one. yeah. That will be the stairwell, yeah. Perilous drop. Um, that's where the lobby, lobby door goes, to lobby the staircase. Make it its own fire compartment. This will be the door to this flat. It's pretty much the same style. We've got a smaller bedroom, a larger bedroom. The bathroom on the edge of the gap. And then this is the area of this one. Each area going down that end. You can, see, you can see, so downstairs is going to be pretty similar layout to this, save so that we've got an extra bit coming out here, um, so that's going to be converted into a what into one two bed. Yeah, one bed, one two bed flat. Obviously, it's all going to be uh, going to look a budget better than that one. No, it will be bad in our department. So that was one of the, the planning conditions, so the pre and planning conditions was to, to specify exactly what that's going to look like once it's done, so the cladding that's going on the outside, the colour of it. Uh, so that's all we've sent off to, to the planning department. Um, what we're currently looking at at the moment is whether or not we can go up another floor above this 
Um, so the so basically an L-shaped building, we'd be able to get either two additional two-bed flats or three slightly smaller two-bed flats. And uh, with the help of the team, we're just working out whether it's, it, it works financially, whether the returns actually can be better, or whether the, the cost of, um, of actually doing it is gonna outweigh the, the benefit we'll get in rent. Um, yeah. I have one more flat on this floor. We are trying to put the silly cupboards wherever we can, we're going to put them in a bathroom. Um, just out of the room. Okay, so just this one. Bathroom's a bit too small to, uh, to get some of the cupboards in as well. We don't have to put that in the kitchen, but we're going to put in the washing machine under the cupboards and then we just uh, send them into bed. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, yeah, I mean, there's uh, downstairs is not quite at this, this level yet. We'll work from the top and, and go downwards. Um, but yeah, it's been a huge map for everything, so I love the game. Uh, very exciting, so see you next time. <laughs> Bye!